Okay, today I'm going to be talking about top five best lures in my opinion. Number five, I'd probably say a little um, power bait paddle tail, just like this one. Um, has great action. I like Texas rigging it from the side. So like when you're bed fishing or something, like bounces down on top and looks like it's eating the row. And I think that's really good. Um, another thing you can do is you can use this as a trailer for spinner bait and dip. So that brings us to number four. Number four, a nice big booyah swimmer bait. I like the ones with four blades better than like three or two blades because it's bigger, it's just shinier, there's more like waves and stuff so it attracts more attention to it. And I actually, I like the um, golden and silver one better than just the silver, but they all kind of work. So, um, yeah, like I said, this plus this, boom, good. You can put a stinger hook on this, kind of like these. Just put a little stinger hook on it, and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, number three, <coughs> three, um, this is like for ice fishing and sometimes summer fishing too. Um, a Swedish pimple. I like the kind of like the silver ones and they have like the painted color inside, but they all kind of seem to work the same. This is the middle size, the medium. And mm, this one works best for bass in like lakes and ponds and sometimes small pike. Um, yeah, so if you're ice fishing with this, put minnow on it. If you're fishing for something smaller, you can put, uh, here, just a second. If you're fishing for something a little bit smaller, get one of the smaller ones like this one. This is the color that I like, but get a smaller one. I like to switch out the hook to a single hook. It just seems to work a little bit better. So if you like pan fishing, you can use this one of the smaller ones and catch panfish. Tip it with a little piece of night crawler or wax worm if you're ice fishing. And now number two. Number two is probably a rooster tail. I like um I like rooster tails because well they're kinda like the little brother to the spinner bait. And I like them like they just they're weird, you catch fish on them. They're just overall cool and effective lures. So, I, I like um, just a plain silver color, but this is what I found. It's kind of like silver and purple, so that's cool. And number one, I love a Senko. Senko, any color works. Um, this is my favorite color. It's baby bass, 100% my favorite. Um, I also really like um, Green Pumpkin Red Flake. That's a really good color, too. For really anywhere, dirty water, clear water. Yeah. And this, this is just a little bonus. Um, this I actually made. It's a little hair jig, and I made it from rope. I just frayed the end. As you can see, there's a rope right there. Just... Frayed the end, put it on a football jig head, and, well, I've caught, like, two or three fish on it. And this is also a little bonus. Um, if you like fishing like I do, you're probably always going to want to bring out a knife or something like that. What I have is a multi-tool. This one, actually, my friend gave to me. 
It's a nice little multi-tool. There's a blade. It comes with a blade, a screwdriver, a saw, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So, yeah. And um, also it comes with a little flashlight on there. Yeah, right there. It comes with a little flashlight. That's cool. Um, and also, this is not a sponsor or anything. I just really like Mystery Tackle Box. It's really cool. It's a really cool place. Um, so I just, I get these monthly. And they're just really cool. So if you want those, they're like, 15 bucks i think a month and you get just a box like this every month so i think that's cool and yeah yeah um you can get these the baby bass they're gary yamamoto senkos i like the um four inch better than the five inch i don't really mind the five inch i just I like the 4-inch just a little bit better. Okay, so that's the end for this video, which is actually my first. So, hope you like it. Please subscribe and bye.